啊！哎， the deadline is reaching. I have no idea about my homework. What could I do? Hey, why are you so stupid? It's 2022 now. Why are you still not using crowdsourcing? You can try it. Crowdsourcing? What's that? Crowdsourcing is. Crowdsourcing is the 21st century's version of putting our hands together via the internet to tackle a problem and come up with the best solution instead of a handful of experts. Crowdsourcing can take place on many different levels and across various industries. Thanks to our growing connectivity, it is now easier than ever for individuals to collectively contribute ideas, time, expertise or funds to a project or cause. This collective mobilization is called crowdsourcing. Nowadays, many companies are using crowdsourcing as their business strategies, such as legal, fans, or Netflix. Good morning, Mr. Jen and Mr. Sin. Um, welcome to our interview. Mr. Jen is the coder of ABC Company and Mr. Sin is the CEO of ABC Company. First of all, thank you for having me, right? Um, I think crowdsourcing has been improving our professions and uh, its portfolio. So, uh, like uh, extra physical rewards like cash, like opportunity of promotions, uh, crowdsourcing really good and useful. So, for my future career path. Thank you, Mr. Jim. Uh, Mr. Sin. Crowdsourcing really plays an important role in our company's development. It helps my colleagues to collaborate freely and openly. Overall, their work and their overall performance did increase and improve. Crowdsourcing has several success stories in reality, from academic uses to space discovery. The professor of business administration has helped NASA to come up with an algorithm to identify the ideal contents for a space emergency medical kit through top coders, a crowdsourcing company bring a group of developers and designers together. The experts inside NASA couldn't solve it originally. Besides NASA, Netflix is also the case in point. Netflix has launched a competition called Netflix Crowd Prize in 2015. Programmers around the world compete for the prize by improving Netflix algorithm called Cinemesh. Under the help of crowdsourcing, Cinemesh has become the most important algorithm for Netflix to recommend movies to customers and generate income. Crowdsourcing seems perfect, but isn't it? I've been hesitant to mention that there's nothing that's as perfect. It started around 10 p.m. Tuesday, 50 miles south of Louisiana. A massive explosion lit up the sky. 126 workers were doing routine drilling on the oil platform before it was engulfed by smoke and flames. In 2010, there was explosions of deepwater horizon wind, caused the largest oil spill in history. The oil company was willing to find a way to clean up by quite properly, because there was a large range of oil in the sea. The company received around 123,000 ideas from more than 100 countries within just a few weeks. It seems there's a muscle solution to address this problem. However, the truth is zero. None of them is useful. It's clear that crowdsourcing seems perfect. Most crowdsourcing initiatives end up with overwhelming amounts of useless ideas. It has required expert analysis to plan an idea whether it's doable or not. Just like NASA and the Netflix that we mentioned before. Yeah, 
I think I can tackle all my problems with crowdsourcing. Crowdsourcing is the best. Let me use crowdsourcing to finish my project first. Why? Why I couldn't fix my problems? It's fine, Jasper. Having large room for improvement, crowdsourcing still has a bright future. So we we'll propose this. Jasper, if you are struggling with your academic work, you can try using this new crowdsourcing system. It's monitored by professionals. It's for workplace and academic use. Everyone can reply. And its goal is to sort out the best solution for everyone using this new platform. Oh my god, the new platform is so good. It seems there's still a long way for crowdsourcing to go. But it has a bright future.